Okay, today we have a new series of videos about the Reddit subreddit Ask Feminists. Yep, you know this is already going to be interesting. Okay, so today we have a feminist that is trying to convert a a student she teaches as a tutor to feminism. So before I give my opinion, of course I'm gonna read what the post says. I'm a woman and I spend a significant amount of time working with a teenage boy as a tutor. Several whole working days. We believe we, som we sometimes have an extensive conversation about life. Feminism is a very point for me, and so it does come up. He believes in women being equal to men, but he doesn't believe that that women are any more oppressed than men are. He's challenged me to give him any examples, and my mind went blank. I tend to read feminist writers, sort of the principles, get angry, but forget the details. This makes me very bad at being able to persuade people, even who basically asked to be convinced like this kid. I've been thinking I need a privacy of some kind, the key way in which women are oppressed relative to men and relative society. Does anyone know of any resources? Ideally, these will be set in a way it can easily be dismissed with, but men and women are different therefore with different things, which is a slightly separate argument. I think if I don't consider convinced with words of my own mouth, about the necessary feminism, he is quite unlikely to be interested enough to explore the resources I suggest, even though they do a far better job than I would. But if anyone knows of any approachable, fun, and introductory podcast about feminism, I'm not employed to teach him about feminism, though, so I can't give him feminist homework that he doesn't really want to do. Chances are that my own words are my only opportunity to say, as I imagine the case where if I convince anyone in a feminist argument. This is why I'm totally frustrated with my own limitations. I would to be able to overcome them. Okay, I think the word prosolism prosolism describes what this woman wants to do. She can seem to do that other people have different ideas and wants to brainwash this boy into feminism. Look at her post, she wants other, framework, other feminists to provide ways to brainwash people by presenting the one side of work aka instead of actually doing a fucking job that she's paid for, she wants to brainwash people. And your ideas sound like you're trying to convert people through propaganda, just like how North Korea used propaganda. You, but you, feminism, feminists, do not care how you behave. All you care about is about women. And fucking newsflash, women in the Western world get more rights than men, so stop fucking going on about how oppressed you are, you when you're fucking not. He did not ask to be convinced, he just asked what your point on the subject is. And you fucking claim to be frustrated because he does not agree with you, even though you have not took his viewpoints at all. If you cannot talk to him without, talk, without propaganda, you should quit your job simple as. And I noticed that this, in the subreddit, the mods seem to only allow top level responses if they made by, pe by women who support feminism. Okay, this is one of those crazy lots of feminists.